I made a video where I said that people cheat because of hormones. When a certain hormone is high in the body of the woman, she will cheat. Same thing with men. Also, uh, most of the divorce cases you are seeing is because of hormones. There are hormones that are popularly known to cause divorce. Something hormonal imbalance in a woman can directly impact her relationship and cause her to want to separate from the man. Which is usually why many people regret the divorce because after the divorce, once you get your hormones balanced, maybe via treatment and all, your sense will come back and by that time the man is gone. So I mentioned a lot of um, um, hormones. So, but this one is saying, this, um, this person asked me, should the hormones they cause, che cause cheating? Yes, let me show you some hormones. So the general one, and this one is for guys, okay? They said, according to, according to Harvard, higher levels of um, um, testosterone and cortisol can make the concept of cheating more attractive. The study found that when uh, participants had elevated levels of either testosterone or cortisol, they were more likely to cheat. When both testosterone and cortisol levels were high, participants were more likely to cheat, regardless of the gender. So first thing you need to know about testosterone is it's in men and women. But in women, the quantity is so low, all right? In men, it's high. So they are saying that men that have this in higher, they are more likely to cheat, all right? In women, women that have this, even though women's own is low, women that have it higher than other women are more likely to cheat. But let's look at hormones that are specific to women. You know, before I even continue, somebody asked, are there supplements to regulate these hormones? Yes, even injections too. So discuss with your doctor. One popular one that I mentioned in the past video that I saw some, fev some women giving testimony is uh, progesterone. They said that when they took the injections for seven days, um, their whole um, aggression reduced, okay? So according to, you need, according to um, a 2009 study by University of Texas, they said um, researchers, women with high level of sex hormone estrogen may be more likely to engage in opportunistic mating. That one they will say is a mistake or I don't know what happened. I slept with him by mistake. The man will be saying, how can you sleep with somebody by, by mistake? What happened is that she had hormonal changes. You need to know that some women naturally have this high natural all right but then some due to food changes like i explained in the other video sometimes you move from one country to the other and the food you eat change and once it changes the the level of estrogen in the body of the woman will go up and before you know it she's cheating and this is a woman that you married that has never cheated in her life the, the man will be asking what happened what happened what caused the change something happened this is not the wife i married Something actually happened, the man is right. So I explained that in some, in some countries, they inject the animals with this hormone, estrogen, so that the animals will produce more milk and give birth to more children easily. So now what happens when you get the, eat, eat the meat of this animal? Do you understand? Or drink the milk from this animal. When you drink it, some are saying that this estrogen will not pass into your body in one way or the other, and then becomes high. So this is the hormone that helps women with processing their periods and their fertility cycles. But it also, when it's high, they found out that women that have it high are more likely to cheat, opportunistic, without dating, just knock the guy because he looks handsome. The study authors found that women with high levels of estrogen also reported being more willing to cheat from innocent flirts to serious affairs. See, when women are having celebrity crush, why would a woman have celebrity crush? What are you crushing on a celebrity when your husband is there? Your husband is your celebrity crush, but once all those things don't, they come innocent flirting. However, the woman who proved the woman also proved no more interested in one night stands than women with lower levels of estrogen. Okay, so let's see another one. So, what is this estrogen? I explained it an ovarian hormone linked to fertility and sexual motivation. The study, um, they found a woman with this find themselves more attractive or this one that somebody will be in the mirror and be like the lady will be in the mirror two hours she's in the mirror she's checking her chest checking her back and an inflated sense of self 
Do you understand? She's all about herself and the, the feels she's like she's the, have you ever seen that a lady like that? She feels like she's the center of the whole world. Everything is about her. Da, da, da. She's uh, sexually really active. Something in her body is very high. So, um, women with a higher estradiol, this is uh, a type of estrogen, okay, so it's basically the same thing in quotes. Level are reported reported greater likelihood of flirting, kissing, and having a serious affair, but not a one night stand with a new partner. Um, estradiol levels were negatively associated with a woman's satisfaction with her primary partner. So, this is it. We are controlled by we are controlled by chemicals. Even you thinking, understanding what I'm saying, is light entering your eyes and chemical in your brain processing it. So sometimes when these chemicals are altered, it directly alters our behavior. We, in the other video, I talked about aggression. This um, hormone, estrogen, when it is high in some women, it triggers ad aggression. Now, when a woman is approaching menopause, this hormone will, if it, if it, be, it in some women it becomes high. And because of that, they want divorce. They hate the man. How did I even marry this man? He's not, he's not serious. He's doing this. He's doing that. They start rejecting the man. Man's sexual advances. Their husband, they don't want the man to touch them. The man can do months without touching their wife. This, that, 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 that. This is a period in her life. And in some women, this is three to five year period. But they will lose their marriage within that period. And it, it triggers aggression. Okay? Like the, and the likelihood that the woman will retaliate. So this is... Um, aggression every time she's fighting with her husband under some circumstances oxytocin may uh, increase aggression by enhancing reactivity to provocation and simultaneously lowering perception of danger that normally inhibits many women from retaliating have you ever seen a woman attacking her man her body is burning she's attacking she's trying to tear the man's shirt like a lioness before you know it the man has hit her out of anger as a man her brain is not processing that what if this man retaliates and I don't survive it. That's how many domestic violence happens. They'll be saying the man is beating his wife, but when you look at the video, you see that in some of them, the aggressor is actually the female sometimes. Why is she aggressive? This is a woman that when they married her, she's not aggressive. You see, this is the same hormone that promotes um, cuddling, like uh, the love for cuddling. When a woman wants to be cuddled, when a guy wants to be cuddled, when a man and woman hug, this hormone is released in the body but when it is too high she wants look at this um retaliating she wants to retaliate all this one that you'll be hearing on social media if, if she cheat on you cheat back if he cheat on you cheat back uh, this that, that, that a man cannot why was he do it if, he, if a man does this i must do this why must my man do the high high oxytocin might be triggering retaliation anything the man does she wants to do her own there was a man in the olden days, there was a man in the hospital that wanted to test his urine. So they told him to, they told him to uh, produce, they gave him something, they told him to produce his urine inside it at home and bring it back to the hospital the next day. So at home, he peed inside it and kept it under the bed. All right? Now, preparing for work. His wife was now sweeping the house and saw the urine. I was like, why would my husband put urine inside the tube? I did it. She went and poured it away and put her own there and closed it and dropped it there. <laughs> when the man now went to hospital, there was wrong diagnosis, you know, possibly le leading to his death because it throws the hospital into confusion. So very high levels. There is some evidence that high levels of estradiol and progesterone are associated with low levels of aggression. So uh, this is the one that is um, uh, associated with um, low aggression. So basically, three hormones you want to know, testosterone, mostly in males, sometimes in females, when it's high, are cheating. Second one is estrogen, cheating, when it's high, okay? Third one is oxytocin. When it's high, aggression, ah, she wants to fight, she wants to argue every day, everybody shouting in the heart. Oxytocin, when it's high, all right? Th fourth one is progesterone, that when it's in high level, she's less aggressive. So these things, you can take it to your doctor and uh, test for it. There are lab tests for it. They will tell you when it's high. The lab test will come out. They will draw your blood and then do their test. They will tell you when it's high. If it's high, they will advise you on how to bring it down. Then if it's too low, they will advise you on how to bring it up. 
so that you'll be sure that it's not chemical that want to break your marriage not the woman she's not a bad woman first of all do tests thank you